Hello BFFs! Welcome back to my book channel. Look at me, you guys. My braids look awful, but I'm really bad at doing my hair, but I've been really into the braids recently. Anyways, welcome back to a new reading vlog. I'm starting this on a Wednesday. Really, really random. But I felt like talking to you guys, and I felt like just being chatty. What am I getting ready for, you ask? I'm getting ready to go to Target. I have been contemplating about getting the new Emily Henry book. I love Emily Henry so much. Book lovers quickly became my favorite. I haven't read People We Meet on Vacation, but I'm going to do it this summer. I'm going to do it. It's been way too long. I was considering waiting for the paperback for Happy Place and just reading it on my Kindle, but it's $12 on my Kindle, and I'm like, that is like probably half of what the hardcover is, and I really want to read it, so I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna go to Target and hope that they have the Target edition there. And then I also need to get some other random things, but also just want to like go and look. I just want to go and have a time in Target. Just look at things I don't need, buy things I don't need. I'm just looking for a good time, so gotta go to Target. And then this morning I was reading a bit of my current read. I, I am listening to an audiobook, a book that I've been reading for probably like a week now, but it's a slow burn so I'm having trouble reading it. It's called Burn For You. I am enjoying it but it's a slow burn so I'm really having trouble getting through it. So as far as my physical read goes, I'm reading Five Survive by Holly Jackson. But oh my gosh you guys, this is creepy. It's getting a little freaky. It's been freaky from like maybe 50 or so pages in. I'm on chapter 23. I'm on page 81. I just got to 2 a.m. I'm, I'm loving it. I'm having a good time, you know. I feel weird saying that. Yeah, so I got to page 181 this morning. I think I read like 50 or so pages. And so I'm really hoping to make a good dent in this today. Basically about these six friends who are road tripping in an RV to a certain location where they're gonna have spring break um, and they get stranded in this RV. Come to find out, someone's trying to kill them. So, and they're trying to figure out like who it is, how to escape, what the secrets are. I love our main character. Oliver is really annoying me, but he's supposed to be annoying. And I want to love Arthur, but there's something telling me not to give him my all right now. And I'm like, oh god. So yeah, that's my update. It's getting freaky. It's getting good. I'm enjoying it. And then on my Kindle, I started the arc for Rewrite Our Story by Kat Singleton. It comes out in May, May 11th, but I was lucky enough to get an arc of it. So I'm really excited to continue reading. I only got to chapter one, I think. I fell asleep last night. But that prologue... The prologue actually had me a little emotional, um, which is how you know it's going to be a good one. I'm going to also try and read some more of that today. I'm trying to be good about my arcs and read them as soon as I get them. That is the plan for right now. I'm going to Target, then I'm going to come back and read and chill some more. I do need to take some bookstagram photos because it's been a minute since I posted and took photos for bookstagram. And I really, of course, want to post again, so I'm going to take some photos today. Um, and then I really need to finish reorganizing my bookshelves. You guys will see. Uh, I just don't feel like doing it. I don't. All I want to do is read. Um, I took it upon myself to reorganize my books. And there are books everywhere on my floor. I haven't even gotten to like my big bookshelf. Or what I'm really going to be doing with my books. But I did unhaul a bunch. Which is good. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to redo my braids. And then we're going to go to Target. I'm so excited. I love Target. So, anyways. We'll see you guys in a little bit. I just spent so much money. We're not gonna talk about it though. Also, I have to say, I was getting stuff for redecorating my room a little bit and I know I'm not gonna keep everything, so, so it's okay. I got my new favorite drink. This is gonna be my drink of the summer. It's a iced peach green tea lemonade with one pub of classic. It's so good, you guys. 
I have been on a tea kick recently, which is so unlike me. Also, it has to be iced, just like my iced coffee. Let's go home. I should continue reorganizing my books, but I think I'm gonna go home, make lunch, because I think it's about one o'clock, and then I'm going to ignore all responsibilities, and I'm going to read. See you guys in a little bit. Okay, so it's a little bit later now. I just finished taking some pictures for Bookstagram. I just finished taking pictures for yours truly. I am just so excited to share about this book. It's incredible. It's five out of five stars for me. So now I'm like debating two things, right? Do I stop and read? Which I really want to do. I really want to stop and read and read Five Survive because I left off at like such a crazy part. Or do I clean up the mess in my room? Yeah, I'm gonna keep reading, Five Survive. I just remembered I have a package, so we're gonna unbox that. I ordered a few books, not that I needed to order anymore because you guys saw, but um, no mistakes. I have no regrets. Okay, so I ordered a few books and um, three of them already came, so I'll show you guys that. So the book I got today is Guarded by Dominique Wolf. I haven't read anything by this author before, but I have actually seen this book quite a few times okay sounds like it is a forced proximity bodyguard romance which sounds really good and then i've been trying to get into my fantasy era which i already have plenty of fantasy but these three fantasy books are ones that i have been seeing a lot recently the first two i got are both by clarissa broadbent and i got daughter of no world and the serpent and the wings of night i've heard really really good things about both of them i think this one's like a vampire fantasy romance and this one i'm not entirely sure and then the last book i got is what lies beyond the veil by harper l woods again i'm not really too entirely sure what this book is about but i know that it's like a fantasy romance a little bit of spice now that we have done the book haul <laughs> i am going to uh read some more of five survive and i'll get back to you guys in a little bit hopefully the next time i get back to you guys i have done something with these books survive right now and things aren't getting so crazy i can't believe the things that are going on in this book it's actually wild This Oliver character, I hate Oliver so much. I can't believe what I'm reading right now. This is so sad. Holly Jackson really knows how to make you feel all the feels in like five seconds. I'm not even kidding you. I've gone from like scared to angry to sad 
too grossed out. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I think I said this earlier, but I don't think we're supposed to be trusting of Arthur. But it's hard not to trust Arthur because he's so wholesome and kind to Red. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't know. How am I supposed to feel? Yeah, I'm almost to 5 a.m. Mm. I have this much left. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it tonight, but we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. Hello, friends. It is now Thursday. It's literally the next day. We have some things to update you on. I have quite the update for you guys. Flashback to when I said, oh, I'm not gonna finish Five Survive. I finished Five Survive yesterday. I am in shock. I couldn't stop reading it. I genuinely could not stop it when I got towards the end. Obviously I had to finish it. I couldn't leave it off. So I finished it last night and it was so good. I'm giving it five stars. It was just insane, wild. Like I said, it had me feeling all the things. I have to admit, I did cry at the end. I might be the only one who cried at the end of this book. I had no idea what the twist was. Um, not that I was really trying to figure out what it was, but you know, things are hinted here and there. And so I feel like some parts of it, I was like, oh my gosh, I did not see that coming. Some of the stuff that went on in this book was insane. I think that Holly Jackson should dabble in adult thrillers because I feel like she'd be really good because there's some low-key gruesome stuff in here. Also, I somewhat redid my shelves. Well, I just like sidetracked really fast. I wasn't done with my reading update, but we're just gonna do a brief intermission so I can tell you guys about my shelves. I redid this shelf. I don't know if I like it. I mainly was trying to make it so I could display my Lily Gold like special editions. I don't know. Is it just me? Is there something happening? Here? I don't know. I still have all the books down there. I haven't done anything with them. There's still books down here. They're gonna go up there. You guys will see in my book reorganization video anyways. Back to the reading update. Like I said, I finished Five Survive last night and I was like, okay, I really should continue with the whole thriller kick because I want to keep momentum with it because I'm in the mood for it. I started The Housemaid last night by Frida McFadden. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is my first like adult thriller. So I'm very intrigued to see how this goes. I didn't get very far at all. I literally read the prologue and then I knocked out because it was like 1 a.m. Yeah, I'm excited to read a little more of this today. I don't really know too much about the housemaid so I guess when I read a little more I'll up to you guys and then I did read some more of rewrite our story I am now 13% and I'm really enjoying it so far I feel like I'm gonna really love this book a lot like I already knew I would from the tropes and just the setup and everything it's best friend's brother they all grew up together um, small town. I think tonight what I'm gonna focus on is the housemaid. So we'll see how this goes. We'll update. That is my reading updates for now. And I will get back to you guys um, when I have more or when something else exciting happens. So it's now the next day. I woke up this morning not feeling very well, so I stayed home from work and I've just kind of been chilling in bed. I read more of The Housemaid. There's a truck outside. I'm moving. I don't know if moving actually helps with the sound of the garbage truck outside. No. 
Anyways, uh, so yes, I read more of The Housemaid this morning and I'm on page 82. I'm on chapter 15. One thing I like about this book is that the chapters are short. It's been amazing. It's been fun. I just, I mean, I'm still like very on early in the book. I feel like I can't really say too much about my thoughts yet, but so far, our character Millie, she is just being told things and making her feel like everything's her fault. So far it hasn't been like too weird or anything. There have been a few little things here and there where the character's like getting a really bad feeling about stuff but so far things are not too weird yet. So basically this book follows Millie and she's just starting a new position with a family and she's basically their housemaid. There's just some interesting things about this family. The mom, Nina, um, we're just finding out some things about her. You don't really know too much about her character other than how she treats Millie and like how she acts. I'm really interested to see where like it starts taking off. The child is hilarious, okay? I was reading this part where Millie meets the daughter Cecilia for the second time and Millie's like trying to make conversation. She <laughs> The conversation's just so funny. I didn't really read more of Rewriter's Story. I'm gonna probably read some more tonight, but I wanted to make some progress into The Housemaid, and I have not touched my audiobook, and I need to. I just need to finish it. I'm, I don't even know. Let's just see how far I am. Let's see how far I am, because maybe it'll make me feel bad about the fact that I haven't touched this book in days, and then I've been reading it for a week now so I have an hour and a half left <laughs> like girl just finish the book um I'm on chapter 27 of 38 so I just need to finish it I just need to I'm going to read some more of the housemaid now and just chill yeah I will get back to you guys when I have some more updates about this book or my reading <laughs> know if you can hear me really well over this fan but I'm not turning it off because it's really hot but why does the main character ask the silliest questions I don't know how to feel about this book you guys I'm gonna be honest I know everyone loves this book but I'm not sure how to feel about it but I'm gonna keep reading I'm Okay, so I have a little bit of a reading update for you guys. It's not even little. It's actually that I finished two books. Also, I hope the lighting's not too weird. I have my little lamp on. I shall also show you guys this. Okay, look. Hold on, you can't even see it. Okay, much better. I stopped by the grocery store today to get uh, my grandma some flowers, and I also got these tulips to put in my vase, and it's so cute. Let me give you guys an update now. So, I finished The Housemaid. I actually finished it at work on my lunch break. I finished it on my lunch break today, and I'm giving it a 3.75. This book is told in three parts. I felt like the first part Okay, this is really hard to explain my thoughts about this book in a way that I hope will make sense, but I'm not sure. When I got to part two, and from then on, everything made sense of why it was the way it was in part one, but it just felt like the pacing was a little weird, but I understand the setup. I think I went into it with different expectations, and so I think those expectations led me astray a little bit from enjoying it, I guess. Um, I still enjoyed it. It just wasn't my favorite book. So I'm so sorry to anyone who absolutely loves this book. There's some crazy things that happen in this book, so I would really recommend if you're going to read this, proceed with caution and just be mentally prepared. It wasn't bad, but it was my favorite, so I'm giving it 3.75. I'm still trying to figure out my books, but this is where I'm putting my thriller books for right now. So I have like my unread ones and then my red ones here. 
And then I finally finished my audiobook burned for you. I gave it a four stars. I really enjoyed it when I was listening to it. It's simply an error on my part that I didn't notice that it was a slow burn and I cannot do slow burns. As a mood reader, it's just a little bit hard for me to continue interest and continue an interest to read. I don't know, like I enjoyed it overall. There was something wrong with it. I had a good time. It was marriage of convenience. Very grumpy man, which I love. I love a grumpy main male character. Um, I loved the banter. I love that our female main character put him in his place. Um, I love to see it. Wow, I finished two books. I've been reading way faster this past week. I don't know what's going on. I'm not gonna question it though because it's amazing. I don't know how much longer I'm going to continue this vlog. I will leave you with this because I think I'm going to take a break from the thriller books i need something lighter i'm gonna go back to a romance book and i kept going between two i was thinking about reading king of wrath by anna huang and also reading flawless by elsie silver We'd obviously i'm gonna get to flawless at some point when no idea um but i think i'm gonna read king of wrath because i've had this on me like i bought this when it released and it's something that i've had on my mind since it released i just haven't read it yet and i don't know why the second book just came out so and yeah i'm still reading rewrite our story i don't think i'm very far in it i think i'm like 20 percent in it i am really really enjoying it and loving it i don't think i'm gonna like, end it here but do i end it here no, I'm not going to end it here. So that is my next reading plan. But yeah, I wanted to at least update you guys on my reading and give you guys an update on what I'm going to read next. But yeah, I will get back to you guys when I have another update for you. I really just wanted to tell you guys about the two books I finished. So anyways, see ya.